Good morning, this is Alamon, and welcome back to Umgon Mild. I uh, apologize for the technical issue with sound in the last episode. The microphone. So, what I'm doing right now is I have the microphone set to feed my uh, voice back into my own ears. There is a slight delay, and so it's driving me crazy already. Um, but the idea is that if the microphone glitches out, I should know right away and should be able to pause what I'm doing and then not lose anything. Uh, I know that there's a way to make the, um, it's not called feedback, I can't remember what it's called. That closed loop thing where you hear your own voice. I know there's a way to make it instantaneous, but I think Windows is not playing nicely with the microphone. Like I'm using the microphone as my sound output device. And I think what's happening is that it is sending a signal into Windows and then Windows is sending it back out to the microphone. Um, Leader of Austria just died, like, a year ago. Maybe two years ago. How old are you? 31, so hopefully you stick around for a while. Pretty good leader, man. 526. That's well above average. Alright, let's see. What should I be dismissing up here? No alliance. Don't care, don't care, don't care. Don't really care about truces because I never declare war. Um, so we're no longer ahead of time here, which is good. I think maybe we get a Diplo advisor. Lots of level ones actually, and two traders. That's weird. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll go for the younger, although 2.2, .2, that would put us in the red. Yeah, and we would not get that much extra from trade. I don't think we should do that. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like monarch points as much as the next person, but... Okay, uh, we're fully reinforced, and actually our manpower's not that bad either. That's, uh, that's good. Let's pull the maintenance all the way down. Oh yeah, what focus do we have? Military. Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. That's what we want at the moment. Getting almost no admin in or diplin power. Um... Sorry, I'm making more speech errors than usual because I do have my voice being fed into my ear with a slight delay, and that's really hard. So, of course, um, as I've been saying all along, we want to get up to admin tech something something for the cathedral. Or not cathedral. University. That's what it is. Uh, you are tech 17 versus that's currently 12 and we could go to 13 so it's going to be another couple decades still but once we have that university that's when we're really going to rush our development points is there anything else here that we would need i mean obviously our um religion will have the development cost thing i actually i think it's the first thing on this list yeah minus five percent that's very nice um, then the university will save us 20%. And as we get more development, we're going to have more building slots as well. All right, so do we want to keep this guy? Our um, Republican tradition could be better. Yeah, and that guy's a little bit old, so let's just get in fresh. Dude, again. Oh, jeez. Worthless. Worthless, worthless. Yeah, that, that name is right. Dabershite. Sounds exactly how I feel. Whoa! Glad it's not mine, but, um... Protestant zealots, why? 
You are Protestant. Am I missing something? What causes Protestant zealots to trigger? Because if their state religion is Protestant, they can't be converting, like trying to convert to something else. I mean, what would they even do? Do they count on my screen? No, okay, so you, your subject nations don't have stuff here. Uh, I'm very confused. I don't really want to attack this stack. I could defeat it. I'm pretty confident. Uh, ooh, our force limit is much higher than what we're actually using. But of course, our money... How is this so high now? I don't know. Oh, because our advisor died. That's why. Yes. Fort defense, land force limit, neither is really useful for me right now, but this is probably less not useful, so we'll take the fort defense. We're getting close to our cap on military, so let's spend that. Because as I always say, even if you can't wait long enough to get to the next neighbor bonus, at least that puts you closer to the next next neighbor bonus. So maybe in another year or something, this will become neighbor bonus minus 10%. Uh, lose prestige or admin power. Um, I think we could actually afford to lose it, some admin power, but um, let's lose the prestige because we at least have the Residenzstadt. And we were supporting some kind of artistic school to get more prestige. That must have been very short lived though. Because uh, that was only maybe within the last five years of the game that we started that. Okay, we get new infantry. So what do we want? So you're identical in fire. These guys have slightly more offensive shock. And yeah, so basically these guys are the more defensive ones. We're actually going to go with that then because <laughs> I'm tired of getting stack wiped. Uh, that's our only choice for cavalry. And... Not much difference here, actually. And we only have one cannon, so the, its combat abilities don't matter much. Truce with Sweden and Denmark has ended. Getting lots of money. Maybe I should get another advisor, Diplo guy. We should have those two traders available. Yeah, we still got this guy. And of course, he's slightly cheaper now from getting older. So we should get about plus 0.15 from the trade efficiency. Um, so we're just right on the edge. We're technically losing money, but not enough to worry about at all. I mean, it would take us several hundred years to deplete the treasury at this rate, so obviously no cause for concern. Also, we have very big loans, which are nice. Uh, so when we take these, obviously inflation goes up. Our interest is lower than it otherwise would be. Wittenberg has announced us. Oh, so okay. So we're mutual rivals again. That's fine. Uh, oh, on spot. I don't. I wasn't even watching the rebels, but uh, they're just back to normal. Yeah, it's a shame that that didn't come a bit later. It's nice to go over your manpower cap when you can. Just gives you a little bit more padding. Well, those Diplo points and military actually are getting a bit high. Oh, how old is our leader? I never check when they're first elected. 48? Uh, 
All right, well, we can actually afford to elect one more new guy just to get Republican tradition up close to its cap, which is not strictly necessary. We have three stability right now. It'll take a while for that to be chipped away. And that is one of the biggest hurdles to having low Republican tradition. It's that stability cost modifier. National unrest we don't care about because we only have one province and it's our home province. And, oh, this interface is really bad when... uh when it gets laggy. Okay. Um, what are we? Unrest minus 11.83. So we're not going to get any rebels. We also don't want to have the bad events for having low Republican tradition, though. So... Uh, I mean, in a typical game, I like to take stock and move my merchants around from time to time, but I, uh, like, this isn't a typical game, though. We're just in the same spot that we've always been in. Uh, who is Württemberg? Okay. Ooh, so scary. Ooh, Württemberg. Uh. No, not scary. So we, yeah, we just have the one building slot. When do we get the next fort level? Uh, tech 14. So that's a, still a little ways off. Okay, good. We have a near bonus of 10. So let's take that. Let's also just take the Diplotech. Admin, I don't... No, I think we wait a little longer on this because we had neighbor bonuses of 10% on the others. Although actually, no, this is... So people are rushing military more, I think. It's just the... But yeah, this shouldn't be far behind. Uh, we... Yeah, we're going to take another... Actually, we are now ahead of time on military. Diplotech is actually what we're not as good at. But what we really, really want is admin tech. It's just that we can't make time go faster to uh, get higher tech levels there. Uh, maybe we'll go with the Diplo guy. I don't really want to re-elect a Diplo guy, but uh, maybe we will. We'll see. Oh, he's 55. I'm not going to re-elect him. Because that is the worst when you re-elect an old guy... And then he dies, and you lose all the Republican tradition. I really kind of feel like you should get a refund on that Republican tradition, but uh, maybe that's a little bit too player-friendly, because you have to take risks, and risks have to have uh, consequences. Austria, you didn't have the Palatinate here before, did you? I've looked it up before, but I can never remember why we call it the Palatinate instead of Pfalz. Uh, another superior unit type. Uh, yeah, the cannons. So, they have identical numbers of offensive and defensive pips. It's just the, how they're distributed. I guess we go for the one with better defensive morale. Again, just trying to avoid stack wipes, mostly. Uh, we do not want to train more troops because our money can't handle it. Our economy can't handle it, I should say. Our money could. It would take a long time for us to eat through that money. Should get the neighbor bonus soon. So this is it now at a 10% neighbor bonus. Uh, military power, yeah, that's always good. Inflation's fine, we burn that off due to our idea groups. Yeah, it's already ticking down. Yeah, 0 0.09. Oh, boy. I guess, I mean, I'm sure that that's going to be well over 200 
Um, but I may as well just keep them capped off. I don't have much use for my other diplomat. I mean, I could be, um, whatever the thing is called. Sabotaging reputation. Oh, actually, we have this now. Okay, the fog of war will be lifted from the target country. Would that include overseas colonies? No, because you can infiltrate the colony. Let's try that. Let's see if we actually clear up the Terra Incognita. I actually doubt that it will. So is that working? I think it is. I don't think this is something that has to like build up. And we can see their troop there. If we pull this guy back, yeah. Okay, so it was working, but it does not reveal things that are beyond our ability to see. That's actually kind of a shame. I'd love it if we could actually <laughs> explore just by infiltrating other people's administrations. I mean, that makes sense, right? You could steal maps and stuff, right? But game balance, or more likely they just didn't think about it and didn't implement it. So yeah, we have our one um, vassal. We don't really need any others. Although it would be cool if we could feed our vassal, get him a little bit bigger. Send 0.1, so I'm assuming that they mean 10% of your monthly manpower to your march. That's pretty cool, actually. Uh, we could make them embargo our rivals. Liberty desires it zero. Yeah, let's do it. It's not going to make any real difference, but let's do it. This is still not at 10%. We may as well take the Diplo, though. Well, it's good that we caught up with military tech. Uh, so that's going to be at level 14. So that's still a little bit away. Really, reformers, Memmingen. Well, they are our rival. Let's get the prestige. Sweet, sweet prestige. Wow, we must have taken that mission a long time ago. I have no memory of that. I wasn't even thinking about missions. Uh, no, we're not going to get prestige of 50. Nuremberg, uh, you are over here. You don't hate me. Good. Uh, at least 100, that should be good. Yeah, we're not going to build our army, so let's do that. We'll send improved relation mission. Alliance officer from the Palatinate now. And now we just play chicken with the Monarch Point cap. Of course, if we really end up having more monarch points than we can even spend, uh, we would start... Um, yeah, we can maintain that, that's fine. We could start developing more again, but I... I don't know, I'm just trying to be careful with our monarch points. Maybe that's just a bad habit from playing so many non-Western nations. So we already have this available. Um. Wow, getting plus seven. Oh, because of the national focus, that's why. Well, maybe we should get rid of our advisor. Fort defense. Yeah, we don't. We don't need you anymore. We don't really need that national focus either. But well, what's our next idea group going to be? Right now, we have one from each, so we are free to take whatever we want. That's going to set what our national focus should be. Right now it's in military. I like military ideas. So this would help us get more prestige, get better generals. 
uh, greater land force limits and discipline. That's all good stuff for a small country. Defensive ideas has better fort defense and lower fort maintenance costs, which would also be good for us. And the morale of armies helping to prevent stack wipes, also good. Quality, I used to take this all the time, but I feel like it's not as good nowadays. All right, well, let's stop this here and we'll pick it up in the next one. Good night, sleep tight, and don't let the grayskin bite. Bye-bye.